In this video, we will look at equity return attribution using the Brinson Fackler model. So let's say we have three sectors here, consumer, financials and technology, and we are given the portfolio weights, the benchmark weights, portfolio return and benchmark return. The portfolio return is 6.1% and the benchmark return is 3.4%. If we calculate the excess return, which is the portfolio return minus the benchmark return, that will be 6.1% minus 3.4%, which is equals to 2.7%. So what contributes to this 2.7%? We can attribute this to the allocation effect, the selection effect, and also the interaction effect. Now we'll start off by calculating the contribution to the allocation effect for each sector. So the formula for the allocation effect is based on the portfolio weight minus the benchmark weight and then we'll multiply that by the benchmark return for sector I minus the overall benchmark return. Now if I do it for consumer, okay, and then we have uh, financials and we have technology. So for consumer, we'll take 40% minus the benchmark weight, 45%. So what we can see here is that the portfolio manager has underweighted consumers and in the benchmark, the return for a consumer is 8% minus 3.4% the overall benchmark return. So that's negative 0.23%. In other words, the manager made a wrong decision in terms of underweighting the consumer sector when the consumer sector is performing better than the rest of the sectors. Okay, so it's uh, on average, the consumer sector is performing better. Then for financials, that would be 35% minus 38%, also underweighting. And then the return in the benchmark for financials is negative 5% against 3.4%. So this would be positive 0.252%. So the manager made a right decision to underweight a sector that is underperforming in the benchmark. And for tech, that would be 25% minus 17%. So the manager has overweighted technology. And in the benchmark, tech is earning 10% versus the overall benchmark 3.4. So that will be positive 0.528%. So that will be a right decision because the, tech, the technology sector is the best a performing sector in the portfolio and we are overweighting it so the portfolio will perform better than the benchmark okay assuming that the portfolio also holds the same the whole same assuming the portfolio holds the same securities as the benchmark now if you sum this up this will be a positive 0.55% in other words the this is how much the allocation effect contributes to the overall excess return. So that means out of 2.7%, there will be 0.55% that comes from the allocation effect. Next, for the selection effect, the formula will be to take the weightage in the benchmark, multiply by the return in the portfolio for sector I minus the benchmark return for sector I. So for consumer, that will be 45% multiplied by 12% minus 8%. So that will be equals to 1.8%. Okay, so that was a right decision. So in other words, the manager's uh, security selection skills is better than the benchmark. So for financials, that will be 38% times negative 7% portfolio return minus the benchmark return for financials. So this will be equal to negative 0.76%. So the manager selection skills for the financial sector is worse off compared to the benchmark. And for technology, that will be 17% times uh, 15% minus 10%. So that will be positive 0.85%. So in total, the selection effect here is 1.89%. Again, this will contribute back to the excess return. And lastly, for the interaction effect, we'll take the difference in the weight in the portfolio and the benchmark, multiply by the return in the portfolio against the benchmark. So again, for consumer, 
we'll take 40% minus 45% times 12% minus 8%. So that will be equals to negative 0.2%. For financials, we'll take 35 minus 38%. Again, uh, multiply by negative 7% minus negative 5%. So this would be 0.06%. And lastly, for tech, that would be 25% minus 17% times 15% minus 10%. So this would be equals to 0.4%. And the total of all these would be 0.26%. That's the total interaction effect and this again will contribute back to the excess return so if we compound everything now all the results that we have computed up to this stage we have the allocation effect the selection effect and the interaction effect if we calculate the total earlier for the allocation effect this is 0.55 percent for the selection effect this is 1.89 percent and for the interaction effect this is 0.26 percent if you add up these three that will give you 2.7%, which is the same as the excess return that we obtained earlier by taking the difference between the two. So when we explain the manager's performance, which is performance attribution, we would say that out of the 2.7%, most of it came from the selection effect. So the manager is in a way skilled in terms of selecting securities for the consumer sector and the technology sector. In terms of the allocation effect, the manager has made the right allocation decision in terms of financials and technology. Now, interaction effect is more of a residual effect here. Okay, It's an interaction between the allocation and the selection effect. Now, if we total up the effects for each sector, that will give us the total contribution per sector. So for consumer, it's 1.37%. For financials, it's negative 0.448%. And for technology, this is 1.778%. So in total, that will be equals to 2.7% as well. So out of the three sector, technology contributed the most to the excess return, followed by consumer. And financials, of course, uh, did not contribute. Instead, it destroyed some of the excess return. Take note that in the syllabus, there are actually two different types of uh, Brinson models. One is the Brinson Fackler model and the other is the Brinson Hood B Bauer model. And the difference between the two models lies in the calculation of the allocation effect. So this formula that I showed earlier is based on what we call the Brinson Fackler model. And there is another version which is the Brinson Hood uh, B Bauer model. Uh, in short, we call this the BHB model. And how they calculate the allocation effect is that the allocation effect is the difference between the portfolio weight and the benchmark weight multiplied by the benchmark return for the sector. So it doesn't subtract the overall benchmark return from the sector return in the benchmark. So that's the difference. And the importance here is given to Brinson Fackler model. Okay, while the BHP model is more of laying the foundation for the candidate to understand how performance attribution was done. Okay, but the main anchor will be Brinson Fackler model.